Hello everybody, this is Axter99. Today I want to go ahead and show you probably one of the games of the year. Probably game of the decade. I mean, just look at it. Look at these graphics here. This is Hiking Simulator 2017, guys. And look at the write-up. This game just launched today. And you get to experience nature like you never have seen it before as you take your hiking to the next level. And oh, 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 baby. Oh, 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 now I see why this is a breakthrough experience, guys. Wow. I'm already excited, guys. And when we scroll down, guys, we see that this game offers a price of only 99 cents. We can hop in and experience hiking at the next level for less than a dollar. And right now, 40% off at only 59 cents. Look at the write-up the developer writes about this game. He says, Do you feel trapped in metropolitan life? Are you yearning to feel nature all around you? Wow. I get to feel nature all around me if I buy this game, huh? How can I refuse? Well, then you've come to the right place. Hiking Simulator 2017 is the newest breakthrough. Wow, we got a breakthrough game. Like, this has got to be a game like nothing before. A breakthrough means that something it's something so advanced that there's not a game like it out there. Wow, I'm excited. This is a breakthrough in video gaming and without a doubt the most promising simulation title of 2017. Look at that. This is the most promising simulation title of 2017. Wow, it's kind of a surprise. I've never even heard about it until I saw it on Steam today. I can't believe I've never heard about the most promising simulation title of 2017 until I saw it on Steam at 59 cents, huh? It offers you a beautiful experience. Scenic surroundings without you even having to leave your room. Wow, imagine that. Put on your hiking boots and walk around six stunning levels where you can see the gorgeous Swan Lake, visit a farm, or take an exhilarating climb up the highest mountains. Wow, an exhilarating climb, huh? Up the highest mountains. You might even see an animal up close in their natural environment. We can do these guys in the ear. We can do these guys in the snout. Heck yeah. We can do these guys from the side. Get some side action going on here. What are you waiting for? Begin your life today and start hiking. Well, who would have thunk it? I didn't know that my life hasn't begun, because this game was not developed until now. But now I'm glad that this developer has finally made this game so I can finally begin my life. What a concept, and what a great guy this developer is, especially to offer a breakthrough game that will start my life at less than a buck. Wow. I already love this game and love this developer for sure, especially when you take a look at these features, guys. Take a look at the features this game offers. First feature, slash H2. Now what could that possibly mean? I bet this game is so advanced and such a breakthrough that we don't even know what slash H2 is. It's probably like some breakthrough amazing concept that we don't even know about. It's got to be. It's listed as a feature here. And then we have the ability to walk. Now, who would have thought that a game in 2017 would give us the ability to actually move, to walk through the game world? Wow. I, I am beyond words at this point. We actually get a walk. And the next feature, guys, animals. There's animals in this game. What a breakthrough. And look at this, guys. We have a feature so advanced that it's not in here just once. It's in here one, two, three times. Slash H2. A triple feature included in this game. We also have six beautiful levels. And we also have a feature listed in blue. Wow. This means it's probably really, really high tech. Backslash list is a feature in this game. I tell you what, guys, my blood's flowing, my juices are flowing. I am ready to experience this breakthrough of 2017 game and begin my life. And we'll do that right after this.
All right, guys, welcome back. When we start the game, we have Hiking Simulator, and when we launch it, we see Choose Your Level, uh, first thing, pop up on a window. And the options are a Healy Landscape, a Mountaintop, spelled incorrectly, by the way, M-O-U-I-N-T-A-I-N, is not how you spell mountain, Mr. Breakthrough Developer. Uh, we can also choose a Snowy Landscape, Swan Lake, the Farm, or the Forest. Well, let's go ahead and explore them all. I mean, we really want to, right? Let's go ahead and start with a Healy Landscape first and just go in order so we don't get confused with all these breakthrough levels that this game offers. And when I click Healy Landscape, I see the loading cursor. And we are waiting. I just want to let you guys know that typically we would not have to wait this long if this was a game made even in Unity tells me right away this game is probably made in a really low budget cheap game maker or game making tool called uh, Game Guru. It's made by the game creators and I believe it's like a $20 uh, game making tool which I've seen on sale all the time for like 5 or 10 bucks. So it's good to know that so it's good to know that this developer here who made a breakthrough game used the best possible tool to give us this game, huh? So here's the weird thing. After we choose a level, now the intro screen starts. Hiking Simulator 2017, and now we can begin. Wouldn't you think this would launch first and then we would choose where we want to go? I'm just saying. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and read the about here. We have uh, three people that have made the music. We have the same guy listed here twice as the director, producer, and original idea. Boy, thanks, Mr. Rasmus Le I always say legendary, but that says Lat Latigard? Rasmus Latigard. Wow, he thought of this game all by himself. Hiking Simulator 2017. Uh, sound effects are from Free Sound Music. Um, the graphics are by, wow, we have uh, lots of different people making the graphics here. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is great. I, I can't wait. Let's go ahead and start our hiking simulation 2017 and begin our life. And again, guys, this is where the load time really starts. Notice we had only about a 45 second load time to load up the main hiking simulator intro screen. Now we're probably going to have about a two minute wait just to load the first level. Something typical of Game Guru games. Now I'm not 100% sure this is a Game Guru game, but based on my game or er, based on my game testing experience on Steam games, this game is definitely made with Game Guru. And here we go, guys. We are in this amazing beautiful world that is supposed to put real life backpacking to shame and we look around we see a static sky a picture painted into the sky that doesn't move the clouds don't move at all it's just static clouds up in the sky like you would see in a photo and oh my god guys look at those amazing rocky mountains huh look at that Wow, I have never seen anything more beautiful than that. <laughs> oh my god, now who would want to ever take a look at something like the Sawtooth Rocky Mountains in my home state of Idaho here, or come to Hiking Simulator 2017 and see Rocky Mountains that look like this. <laughs> Wow, I am glad my life hasn't started until I've begun this game. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at those mountains. <laughs> oh my god. He's calling this Rocky Mountains. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is this is horrible. Let's go ahead and run. Let's give this let's give this painful experience over with as quickly as possible shall we this is horrible I just want to find a mount uh, uh, not a mountain I've seen the mountains yeah 
I want to find like an animal, guys. Wow. Where's an animal? I mean, yeah, at least we don't walk through the trees. I expected us to walk right through the trees. And look at this, guys. We have an amazing cave here that we can explore. And this looks so realistic, too. <laughs> look at this cave, guys. Oh, my God. That's all this is, is a walking simulator. There's nothing to do here, right? Except walk around. And all he did, guys, is he made a, a simple small map here. And he used different textures within the game guru library i'm sure and he stretched the living shit out of these textures to create what he calls rocky mountains and i mean this whole level looks like he spent maybe 10 minutes making it oh there's an animal guys i see it in the distance it is a horse wow we have a horse <laughs> look at this <laughs> A breakthrough game. Remember some of the uh, promises he made in his About the Game write-up on Steam. A breakthrough game experienced Mother Nature like we've never experienced it before. <laughs> Come here, horsey. Come here. Can we ride you? Oh, great. He, he, uh, he turns away from us. Let me guess. He probably just turns wherever we're facing. He just turns away. Yes, that is it. <laughs> Great AI. Oh, I can put my face in his butt though. <laughs> what a fun experience this is. <laughs> no, guys, if anybody's wondering, uh, let's try to jump on him, shall we? Come here. We do have a jump button. Jump. 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 Ah. No, I can't jump on him. Oh, I didn't figure I could. All right, horse, I'll leave you alone. You look so good running in the wild there. That looks pretty good. <laughs> oh my. This is this is great. And guys, I gotta say, as I continue to walk around and look at this blinding light. Is that Oh, it's another cave. Good god, do they have that bright enough there? And a waterfall up ahead. I bet you this waterfall is going to be really amazing looking for sure. Okay, guys. Is that a bird up in the sky? Or is that... What is that up in the sky right there? Uh, is a trapper in this game... Is he breaking pallets and like uh, one of the shards of wood from a pallet is stuck up in the sky? Wow, that is truly amazing. I mean, never would have thought we would have explored Mother Nature and seen a piece of wood floating up in the sky. That is pretty amazing. I mean, what an experience that is, huh? <laughs> Great. Truly a masterpiece this game is. And, I mean, look at that. I mean... Have you ever seen a more beautiful waterfall than that? It just makes me want to dive right in and uh yeah, let's go let's go get a refreshing waterfall experience, shall we? We Oh hell, it it killed us. And jumping in the water killed us. And we start right back at the same ridiculous location. Uh yeah, I mean, what what work this developer went to to create this breathtaking experience <laughs> all right guys let me go ahead and hit escape let's go ahead and go back to the main level here and let's go ahead and uh okay how do i change where i'm at i want to look at the different maps i guess i have to quit the game yeah quit the game and then let's go to the mal mountain mount mount mountain mountain top because they can't spell the word mountain. So we're going to go to the mountain top. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? I'm going to go ahead and cut out this load time here, guys. And I'm going to cut out all the load times between the levels. And we'll show you everything this game has to offer for your money. Every time we do get the Shoho games uh, as we load the level in. Great stuff. 
All right, guys, we are now at the mountain top. And, uh, yeah, same kind of uh, amazing rock textures. And, you know, you can tell just tons of time spent making this game. And look at these asset freaking animals here that they purchased. And, again, notice that all of them do exactly the same thing. They their AI is simply to run 180 degrees away from wherever you, or to run the same direction. Sorry, the same direction you're pointing, they point the same direction and just run. So they run away from you, but they it just points whatever the the animal is in the same direction that you're pointing, and it moves them at whatever their speed is. So the AI could not be any simpler. We're talking about like two lines of basic code here in pretty much any coding language. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, the AI took the developer all of about 30 seconds to design. But guys, here we are in a field on a mountaintop, and I think that the most fun we're going to have in the game is right here. We catch up to this guy, and oh, 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 baby, oh, 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 now I see why this is a breakthrough experience, guys. Oh, wow. Wow, have you guys ever seen anything like this? This poor thing just can't get away. I am inside this poor little thing, and we are having fun. And look at that AI right there. <laughs> we got him trapped, guys. We got him trapped in the wall. His head is stuck in the rock, and we are having a good time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, boy. What a great game this is. All right. And again, I see something up in the sky, guys. What is up with these little chunks of wood up in the sky? I saw it a minute ago. Let me see. I was trying to see if I can get a closer look at it here. When I first saw it on the past level, I thought it was like a bird up in the sky. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's actually bought like an eagle asset or something. I, that's exactly what that is. Yep, those are eagles. Okay. I, the last level was probably the same asset. So far up in the sky, you can barely see it. But that is a bird. Okay, I thought it was a chunk of wood or just a piece of terrain or something like that up in the sky the last time. But he actually did buy some eagle assets and put them so far up that they look like a piece of wood from a further away distance. All right, all right. There we go. But, guys, there's not a whole lot that can make up for this. Does that look like any kind of a mountain that you want to experience right there? Look at that. All right, guys, in this particular level, we see, the mountaintop level, we see that, again, we have some decent-looking mountains here, but those mountains in the background are a photograph that the developer used to paint in as the sky or the background. So those brown mountains in the distance, that's a photograph as a sky. And that's the only part of this whole level that looks at decent because these look like complete crap, but... These look even worse. Would you call that a, a rocky mountain? I mean, I understand the guy wants to go for the jagged rocky mountain experience and uh, look, but this is definitely not how you create a mountain uh, mountaintop or a rocky mountain. All he did, to give you guys an idea of what he did, is he took his game engine, Game Guru, to design this level, and he took the grass here. He went in really quickly and pinched the grass, and then stretched it out a mile up in the air. And then he probably just copy and pasted that same mountain six times right next to it. So he spent all of about 10 seconds there making this jagged looking nightmare in the sky. This doesn't look like a rocky mountain or anything that we would see in Mother Nature. In fact, if I saw something like that when I was up in the mountains backpacking, if I saw something like that, I'd probably freak the hell out and think I was in a science fiction movie. That looks absolutely ridiculous, and that is an insult to not only the developer who made this and calls this a breakthrough game, but that is an insult to anybody who buys this and sees this and witnesses this garbage that he calls a breakthrough. This is laughable at best. Let's go ahead and move on to the next level, shall we? Again, remember we have to quit the game 
And then we go back to choose the level and we're going to choose a snowy landscape here. And then we're going to wait for another three minutes while this all loads in. All right, guys, thankfully I am cutting out the waiting time for you guys. Between each level, I have to go and pick the level, then wait about a minute for his main title, Hiking Simulator 2017 screen to load up, and then click Start and wait another minute and a half to two minutes for the actual level to load up that I had selected before. So we got some amazing music here in the background. Really sounds like something you would hear during the holidays. I guess that's to fit this amazing snow texture that we have here. Alright, so this is just a big empty map with a bunch of asset trees pasted all over. Pretty amazing. But what I want to do is I want to find yet another animal. And look at this guys, I found me a little bunny rabbit. Is that a bunny? It is. Come here, little bunny. And it does. He again. He does the same thing. He just points. He just points the AI the same direction I'm looking and makes it run at whatever the speed is for that animal. And we are definitely getting it on with the bunny rabbit here. Wow. What an amazing game. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun watching this? I mean, how could you not want to go out and spend money on this game right now with all this breakthrough? Uh, life-changing experiences that you're seeing going on right here <laughs> oh my god all right guys a bit simply a big empty snowy level with trees pasted all over and somehow this is supposed to be a life starting or life-changing experience a breakthrough game and the by far best simulator game of 2017 according to the developer um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and go to the next level, guys. Here we go to Swan Lake. All right, guys, again, after about another three minutes of waiting time for the main screen to load up and this level to load up, here we are at Swan Lake. Again, just a basic small map where he's stretched the terrain out uh, in a big circle over the map and then filled the middle with water. And, uh, yeah, that's all we got here, guys. Um, that's it. There's nothing here. I mean, why would I want to walk around this lake? Do you think that's going to be any more exhilarating on the other side? Is there any destination here or point to travel here? I mean, at least when you go backpacking in the real mountains, it's amazing. You can smell the fresh air. You can hear the birds. Uh, you know, you're seeing beautiful scenery that you might not ever see if you don't take that trip. But this, this is freaking hideous. This is absolutely astoundingly ugly. This is a nightmare and an atrocity. And like I said before, this is an embarrassment not only to the developer, but to anybody who buys this game. Yeah. All right, guys, and as we come up this trail here, you look in the sky and you see a pink horizon there. And it looks like it might be a pretty cool sunset. Please remember, this is not part of the game engine or the game at all. It's simply a picture the developer pasted in as the sky. So don't be overly impressed here by the, you know, what looks like might be a beautiful sunset or whatever. And as we look over here in the water, guys, we see what looks like when I first saw this, I was like, you know what? That looks like, is that two birds? Is that two things floating out in the water, two animals? But no, it's simply this. The guy just pasted freaking plants out in the middle of the lake. More lazy freaking work, just like his rugged mountain terrains where he did nothing more than stretch the terrain out a mile into the sky. And I guess this is why we walked all the way over here to the other side of the lake so we can see this magnificent log cabin here that, of course, we can't go into. It's just here for looks. And, I mean, is that not the best freaking log cabin that you've ever seen in your life? I bet you the developer spent at least 
$500,000 just getting that magnificent asset there. Ay, ay, ay. All right, guys, I am done with Swan Lake. Let's go ahead and move on to the next level, shall we? Ooh, this is going to be good, guys. We are now at the farm. This is probably the best level in the whole game. I mean, it's got to be, right? Again, let me go ahead and cut out the loading time here while we wait for this to load. All right, guys, here we are on the farm. Wow. And this, again, is just another basic small map where he stretched the terrain out uh, on the horizon to keep us from falling off the freaking world, falling off into outer space. But look at all these animals, guys. How do we get in here? Yay, we actually got something we can interact with. We already know what kind of reaction they're going to have. They're all going to run from us and point in the same direction we're moving. Oh, but look at this big sexy mama here. Oh, 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 oh. What else am I supposed to do, guys? You guys act like I'm a weirdo. But this game is giving me nothing else to do but take on these animals and do the only thing I can do. I can't do this to their face because they won't point towards me. All they do is point the same direction I do, point away from me, and move at their speed. Like I've already said, we've seen all these animals do it. They all do the same thing. And we'll probably get this guy, we'll probably get these guys to walk through the fence like this. But hey, at least we're having fun, right? <laughs> oh my god. Look at these amazing horses, guys. Nothing wrong with that at all, right? <laughs> Let me put my face in your butt there, Mr. Horse. Wow. Oh, we got chickens, guys. We got chickens. Come here, little chicken. Oh, oh, we still get that same bounce effect. Wow, you're just as good as those bigger animals, Mr. Chicken. <laughs> wow. And then we got... Uh, a little one? Yeah! Oh my god. Pigs! Guys, we got freaking pigs! Oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. oink. Guys, we got pigs here! Same thing with the pigs. All these pigs don't even move. These pigs are so big and fat, they don't even have any speed. Let's see. They point away from us, right? No! These guys don't even point away from us. They just don't care. We can do these guys in the ear. We can do these guys in the snout. <laughs> Heck yeah. We can do these guys from the side. Get some side action going on here. Yeah. But guys, seriously. What in the hell else are you supposed to do with this game besides bump up against the animals in the game? Oh, this game. We're going to go ahead and move on to the last and final, thank God, map of Hiking Simulator 2017. Get me out of here. Alright guys, here we are, thank God, in the last and final map of this game, The Forest. This is one of the exceptions to the rule. Usually, more is better in a game. More levels is better. More content is better. But this is one of those exceptions where, thank God, there's only six freaking maps. If there was 10 or 12, it would just be way too much and take away from the game. And he'd have to sell the game at even half the price that I paid to uh, even keep from maybe pissing his customers off. And again, does anything look familiar here, guys? We have trees pasted all over. We have walls stretched out around the, uh, basically the area of the map. Basically, we have ground here, we have trees pasted all over, and we have rocks or terrain uh, making the border of the map area. And again, we have some deer here with antlers, and we can get up and get it on as they move away at their default speed. What a fantastic game this is. All 
right, let's see if we can get this guy to glitch into the terrain here, into the wall. And just as I suspected, guys, we can get his head stuck in a wall while we get it on here with this freaking deer. Alright guys, let's go ahead and score this nightmare of a game called Hiking Simulator. It's funny and ironic that this developer said that this might be the best simulator of 2017 and a game so good that we could finally begin our life, etc, etc. He called it a breakthrough, he called it amazing graphics. When I find that this is about the biggest joke that I've seen yet on Steam. At least in games like the slaughtering grounds made by the infamous digital uh, homicide that Jim Sterling reviewed, at least that game had some kind of AI, some kind of something to do. At least you could actually shoot or try to kill the enemies. This is nothing more than a basic walking simulator where animal assets point in whatever direction you're pointing and walk at whatever default speed they have programmed in. Trees pasted all over and ground and terrain stretched up a mile in the sky and he calls that Rocky Mountains. This game is enough to piss me the fuck off. Alright guys, I gotta say, games launching on Steam now are launching in crazy numbers. We're seeing 40 to 60 new releases every single day on Steam. And too many of these games are just like this. Extremely low effort games put out in the mass to try to make a quick buck, a quick 99 cents, a quick 59 cents, a quick $1.99. And none of these things are worth a damn. Well, I can't say none. But a very low percentage are actually games like my Rock and Roll, which launched back in July, where I actually put some effort into the thing and I gave a damn. But it almost feels like 90% or more of everything launching on Steam nowadays are ridiculous ripoffs and low effort either asset flips or low effort game guru pieces of junk like this. Unity pieces of junk like this. This is beyond frustrating. And at this point, guys, only a couple of months into the Steam Direct, I think Steam Direct has not helped at all. In fact, I think it's gotten worse. But that is a story for another video and another day. Here, we're only here to review a Hiking Simulator 2017 at its regular price of 99 cents. Value is my biggest part of any score that I get due, guys. And you would think at 99 cents or even 59 cents, the sell price I bought this game at, you would think with a game like this, you would get a good value. But hell no. This game is nothing more than a waste of your time. In fact, not only did I pay money for this, I invested my time into playing this and recording this and uploading this. I've got to be a blithering freaking idiot. I want my time back. Give me my time back. This game, if it was free, would be a negative because of the time investment just to play the goddamn thing. So guys, if you thought you were gonna get a good value score worth 40 points in my review of this game, because it's only 99 cents, you'd be dead wrong. My score for value is a negative five because I have wasted time playing this game negative buy for the value. Next criteria of the game, guys, is fun. Well, listen to my tone now and tell me if you think that I'm having fun. Tell me if you think I'm immersed. Tell me if you think I am engaged in this game and having fun to any level or degree. Fun is a zero out of 30. Next aspect of my scoring is controls and bugs. It's worth 20 possible points. Alright guys, well, we can move. WASD moves, shift does make us move quicker, and space is jump. And the mouse button, or the mouse, sorry, and the mouse does allow us to look around. So I really can't take a whole lot away from the controls. However, what I can take away for as far as bugs is the fact that animals will glitch into trees and walls to try to get away from you. 
the fact that the terrain and everything is stretched out uh, a mile into the sky as if that's supposed to make a Rocky Mountain. To me, that's nothing more than a bug that the designer created or the developer created by trying to design a map simply by stretching ground out a mile into the sky. Totally ridiculous. I'm going to give the controls and bugs guys for this a generous 10 out of 20. And then we come to the last criteria guys. We come to graphics and sound. Guys, there's no sound here except for the different music tracks that this developer plays during each level. There's nothing here that you would expect, especially in a game that's supposed to be a breakthrough and a life-changing game that the developer promised us on his game page on Steam. Does this look like good graphics, guys? Seriously? No. The graphics are horrendous. So horrendous, in fact, with this stretched out terrain, I'm going to have to hit this guy hard in the graphics. There's simply not enough points to take away enough points with only 10 points available here. Graphics and sound scores a negative 5. If you add that all up guys, value a negative 5, fun 0, controls and bugs a 10, and graphics and sound a negative 5, we come up with guys a 0 and that's exactly what this game is, is a zero. This game should not be on Steam at any cost, at any price. It shouldn't be on Steam, period. Steam is too good for this kind of crap. And they continue to allow this kind of garbage to be sold on Steam in the mass every single day. Steam, with games like this, is becoming an embarrassment. And Steam should be ashamed of allowing crap like this to be sold for even a penny. To, even if this was free, this should be an embarrassment to Steam. Let me know what you guys think though. My score is a zero for this game, but one of the worst walking simulators I have ever played. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Take care. This has been Zaxter99. I think I have a major headache and I need to go resolve that right now. Peace, everybody.